Now I, that's the front side. And I'm going to switch it around to the back side like that and then trace it. This is where I'm using the collage as one of the interior design pieces. Again, I trace it. And then by hand, I will draw the interior design like this, following the edges at about a quarter of an inch away from the edge. And then I cut it out. I just cut out the interior design. I don't cut out the uh, outer edge that I traced earlier. And after I've cut it out, I trim it a little bit. There's a little piece that needs to be trimmed right there. And this is how, at the end of the entire process, it's going to fit inside that design like that. I don't glue it in yet, though. I just set it aside. And I, again, I write up on the upside. That's going to be the front. That way I don't uh, put them in backwards or upside down I mean and the interior design uh, okay now there I've written up on all of them I've traced all of them and uh, now I start to place these pieces inside the frame and this I do entirely in an improvised way you know I just think I'm going to uh, I'll, I'll place them until I'm satisfied with how they fit inside the frame now I'm putting glue on the points where it's going to touch the frame and I press it in place. The only guide I use to do this process is my intuition and my sense of aesthetics I guess. Now here I'm trying to fit this piece in somewhere and I decide oh I like the way it fits right there I like the way that looks so I glue it at those points where it's touching the frame or touching the other pieces. Right there. And then I glue it at the bottom also. And then I go on to the next piece. And I just uh, move it around until I find a place where it fits in. And, I, and then I'll say to myself, oh, that's kind of cool. there. I, I like the way that feels so and the way that looks so I decide to glue it there. And again I you know just put glue where it's where it's touching the other pieces. This is something that can't really be taught. It's something that you have to kind of feel on your own. <laughs> So it can be a little tricky. There's a point that I that's loose. I want to uh, glue that in place. And I decided, oh, that looks good there. It kind of radiates from a single point. Apply the glue. <coughs> then the final piece, I kind of search around with this piece, trying to figure out where it will look best. And I'll even uh, flip it upside down, see if that works. Flip it that way. Oh, I like the way that, that feels. Now as you see me doing this, I'm actually, you know, figuring this, all this stuff out at the moment. You know, I'm not, uh, I don't have this pre-planned or anything. And I glue that in place. had to adjust it a little bit. I didn't quite have it where I wanted it. Okay. Now I'm going to glue paper to the back of this this thing. So I'm going to take the base color that I that I chose. In this case it's 
it's going to be green paper. I'm just doing some extra gluing here. Make sure everything's down pretty solidly. And those interior designs that I traced before are going to fit into this thing once I have the, the base color paper in place. And here you can see um, I'm just double checking that these pieces are going to fit into this thing. And uh, in the process of doing this, I don't glue, glue these in place yet, but in the process of doing this I discovered that one of the pieces um, I actually traced it upside down and you'll see that that's coming up. All these pieces fit but now that last piece I discovered is not going to work because I traced it upside down um, on the downside, I mean on the upside instead of the downside. So the only way it'll fit is if I turn it upside down and show the white back of it and it's good that I'm showing this because I made a mistake there and I actually did make this mistake I didn't pre-plan this and it, I decided that I'm going to glue it in place later as a as the white piece like that but you can see the uh, the pen marks and so I just trim that off and this is uh, this shows you how you can uh, if you make a mistake sometimes mistakes are actually happy happy little mistakes as I think Bob Ross on that PBS show used to call them. And um, so I just trimmed off the, the pen marks and then trimmed it a little bit so that it's a smooth shape. See, originally I was going to use the other side, which has color on it, but now I, I decided, well, since I made this mistake and everything's glued in place, I'm just going to uh, glue it in as a white piece. So my design will have the interior designs will include one white piece. Okay, now I'm going to take this paper. This is the base color. I'm going to glue it to the back of the tracery design. And I, as I do with all the base color papers, I um, crinkle it three times. <clears throat> Sometimes I will even take those interior designs that I have on the table in fact, I, I placed all the interior designs on the table approximately where they're going to fit on the, uh, the tracery design in the, approximately the right position so that I can, I can use that as a reference. This is the back side. I now place glue over the entire back side of it, of the tracery design. spread it over every square, square millimeter of it. And then I lay down the, uh, I lift that up carefully so I, the interior designs are still laid out approximately where they're going to go on the final tracery design. 